Hey, what's up? Adi here from Hit the Road Music Studio. Good to see you guys again on my daily vlog live from Morocco. We are still in quarantine until minimum 10 June, so we make the best out of it. And we got a nice reply yesterday because I was asking what did you learn during quarantine? And my favorite reply was uh, growing bonsais and there is one waiting for me. This one is from my lovely brother, my dear brother. Like not brother brother, just a real brother. He's my younger brother. And uh, I sent you lovely greetings, thanks for watching this. Thank you for your wonderful support. He made such a donation that we will be able to realize the Zegro Band uh, recording session after the lockdown is uh, over, because we have to pay the rent now for this camping place. And it's, it's just amazing. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. We see you soon when we come back one day. <laughs> Today, today I will share with you some stories from Serbia. We went to Serbia and um, the, we went to the trumpet festival called Guča festival where we saw bands like Bobani Marko Marković and Goran Bregović. It's a fantastic festival. Mm, tradition since 60 years, I, I'm not sure now which edition it was. But um, the cool thing is about the festival there is this Balkan music, Balkan trumpet music. There are like 20 bands running around um, trying to be the winner of the festival. People will vote, they will play on the big stage. And um, it was a wonderful atmosphere for seven days. Party, everybody just wants to party from the morning to the night. And I will tell you today how the Gucci festival brought me into this band. <laughs> mm, at first when we arrived to Serbia, I have to tell you, um, we may travel like from Berlin to Istanbul, from Berlin to Serbia in a Renault Twingo, a very small car, and there was one flaw with it. <laughs> when I turned on the light, the car turned off, it was a little bit too much for the battery. But in uh, Serbia, you need the lights on when you're driving. So the police stopped us. Mm, I was jumping out of the car and wrote, Hey, Jivali! Stravo! How are you doing? The first thing they did was an alcohol test with me. <laughs> and I passed over, of course, I would never uh, drink and drive. And uh, I made the zero zero, but because of the lights, the cop said, Leave us your passport and you have to go to Novi Sad. I was talking with them a little bit that I have big respect and we are here first time in our life. We go to Gucha. And the guys were super cool. They were super cool. They were just listening. They gave me the passport back and said, Welcome to Serbia. And it was incredible always when the police stopped us. It's the same like in Morocco. It's um, very calm. I'm actually happy when they stop me. Except when I drive too fast. <laughs> it just happened twice in Morocco. I have to pay. But um, they stop you. They talk with you. They want to know where you come from a little bit of story behind you and wish you a nice day yeah so we're in a really good situation in morocco and it was the same in serbia they just showed us the direction where is gucha that we don't drive wrong and took really good care about us so um, thank you for this and when we arrived to gucha we've been there for seven days <laughs> and then you don't know me if you don't know me uh, we're vegetarian kasha and i are vegetarian also vegan and in this festival there is all about the music, all about the local drink, rakia, and all about meat. They are frying the pigs on every corner <laughs> and big fat sausages and it's just about eating, dancing and have a good drink and a good time with your friends and playing music. So um, I was eating burek, there's the local food called burek with cheese almost every single day. Oh, it was good. We had a very good time. We enjoyed the time there to the maximum. And there was a camping called Paprika Camp. You put your tent and you pay whatever you can. So a lot of traveler coming there, hitchhiker and especially musicians. And believe it or not, we had a jam session with 32 people. With 32 people. I tried to find the videos. If there is a video, you will see it here now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Um, the best thing was because we were just on the parking and sleeping inside the car. It was, I felt it's like 60,000 degrees, it was super hot. So we were chilling outside in the car and had the Berlin sign, car sign. So some guys from Berlin came, uh, my dear friend Valentin Cello. And this was incredible, really good trumpet player. And we met again on the Boban and Marko Markovic concert in Berlin, where they had their instruments. After the concert, we made the parade on the street, just playing like they play in the Balkan countries, going on the street and play the music, followed by many people. It was amazing. Mm, so I joined to the rehearsal. It was the beginning of uh, Cello Faccio Orchestra. It is now Panturbia. Talented, passionate, lovely, really good musicians. Um, I had once a visit, uh, after we moved to Krakow, we came again to visit Berlin for a Queens of the Stone Age concert. We said hi to Valentin, hi to Valle, chilled out there, cello came there, and they took my guitar into a club. And after the Queens of the Stone Age gig, I went directly into the club, Schokoladen, and we played, believe it or not, for almost seven hours. <laughs> Jam session, playing around, having a good time, and yes, I have the, still the Wittbecker shirt, I didn't change it yesterday. I like a lot of stone, I like a lot of metal, I like uh, Latino music and I love Balkan music. It's such a complex, beautiful and funky music you can play. Some other bands I can recommend to you is uh, Fanfare Chocarria. We saw them first time in our life on the Woodstock Festival and followed them since ever. Their new music and their new styles, they made the cover of Born to be Wild that you can see also in the Borat movie. And we met the guys, super cool. Opera, he's such a good musician on the clarinet, on the saxophone, and they never stop playing. Wonderful band, check them out. Fanfare Ciocarlia, Bobani Marko Markovic Orchestra, now Marko Markovic Brass Band, and um, Kochani Orchestra. Check out the Kochani Orchestra from uh, North Macedonia. Lovely people. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Have a wonderful time. Leave a comment if you checked out the music. Uh, let me know what you think about the today episode. And see you tomorrow. Bye bye.